All right, so this is a GE gear hobber. Um, it's used to generate teeth on gears. The old way was planing. Then they went to a hob style. Um, your gear ge geometry is set on the hob you use. The carbide tool that's in the head is a gear hob. And they're set based upon pitch, which is the amount of te or the spacing of the teeth. And then you have your angle, your pressure angle. So if you have a known pitch and pressure angle on a gear, you use the hob according. And the head itself rotates on an angle to set your helix angle of your gear. It has con constant indexing, so as the gear is coming around, it's always generating the same number of teeth. So your part is rotating this way, as in a lathe stood up on its side or as in a vertical lathe. And your hob is spinning forward on an angle. So as it's coming down, the hob is intersecting the gear teeth as it's traveling in a circle. And as it comes down, the angle creates the hob angle and it generates the part. The good thing about a hob is when you go up for your next part, you can wrap it up and it'll move the teeth with it so you don't actually have to pull your hob away from your part. It's very precise. It works very well. It's a little slow. It's a lot of setup time, but it generates a very good part with a pretty decent finish. And it works great for multiple parts. Once you have a setup, you can stack parts and do can, like a stack of five or six, or you can just replace the part and keep running the same thing.